Hey guys, Barkut here. In this video, I will cover how to set up Google Ad Conversion Tracking. So I will show you first how to set up the Google Tag Managers properly, then how to track conversions using Google Tag Managers, whether it's phone call, whether it's survey submissions, whether it's a prompt submissions, whatever. How to track all of these things properly using Google Tag Manager. So stick with this video. I will show you each and everything about these types of things. So let's get started. For landing page, I really use Go High Level landing page or Go High Level funnel as a landing page. So just to be clear, the first thing first, you just need to check your GTM is correctly set up or not. To check this, I will use a Chrome plugin. It's called Google Tag Assistant Legacy. So just open this and hit on enable and just refresh this page one more time. And you can see there is nothing happened actually there is nothing found on this landing page that means google tag is not set up properly for this landing page so, so this is the google tag managers i created for this client so here you can see this is called gtm mz this is a google tag manager code so i want to set up this google tag managers on this landing page so i would probably go so just go to the admin on the container setting you can see install google tag manager just hit on the install google tag managers and you will find two code one is add code and one is body code whether you are using different types of you know landing page software or crm you just need to copy this heron body tag and just paste on your crm or on your you know landing page tool or whatever you are using it depends on you but for this video the why i'm using go high level so i will show you how to set up this using go high level so just i will just copy the head code and go to the funnel go high level funnel and hit on setting i will paste the head code and same thing i will copy the body tag and just paste it on the body tracking te template and hit save and make sure that if you are using go level make sure that this domain is connected properly so i think this connected that means this tracking code or this gtm will work for this funnel like whatever funnel step do we have it depends on you it will properly work for all of the funnel step right now i have two one is landing page and one is thank you page called I believe this Google Tag Managers will properly work for these two funnel step. And uh, to test your Google Tag Managers properly set up or not, just view this page. Once this page is loaded, just hit on the same plugin, Google Tag Assistant Legacy, hit enable and refresh this page again. Sometimes it takes time, but don't worry about this. You can see Google Tag Managers, the code is GTM MZ8 xldq 5 something like this. It's properly set up so our first step is done then to set up the conversions for google ads just go to your google ads account and hit tools and settings and you can see there is under measurement you can see there's options called conversions and hit on the conversion options so on this conversion tab you can see there are lots of conversion action i set up you know for my client previously but i will probably say you will see nothing on here because i assume that this is the first time you are setting these conversion actions for your client so just forget about these things so you can skip these types of things just click on the new conversion actions and you can see there are few steps websites app and phone calls so today i will show you how to track your phone calls first thing and second is how to track the form or service submissions whatever these two things properly using google tag managers for your google ads to track form and service submissions hit on the websites and scan your domain copy the domain url or landing page url and hit here paste here and hit scan skip this part click on this add a conversion action manually and if it's a form and service submissions you can hit on this lead submit lead from i will say test google ads that's google ads submit this is the conversions name on the bell part you can use this one don't use value for this conversions ones not recommended from google but yeah you can use it no problem and here's the thing you can count as every other one so i would probably say it is every you know except the phone call conversions i would leave it as it is 30 day and everything looks good hit done save and continue then on this part you can see google tag email instruction to the webmasters and use google tag manager so for this video as i mentioned before that i will use google tag managers so click on use google tag manager and once you are on it and go to the google tag managers hit on the tag and hit new i would probably use the same name 
on Google Tag Manager as well. Hit back congregation. Go that conversion tracking, conversion ID. This is the conversion ID. Just copy the conversion ID and paste on here. Conversion level. This is the conversion level. Copy and paste it here. And for triggering, just click on here. Thank you, page visit test if i explain first how i can track conversions from my landing page so when someone lands on this page and and this is a survey when someone submit this survey and it will lead to a thank you page and here is the thank you page if i show you so here is the thank you page people will see this thank you page and the thank you page url is this one thank you Slash thank you hyphen you know decking something like this that means someone's fill up this survey properly then they will redirect to this page when someone visit this page we will count this as a conversions on our google ad but to do this so you just need to add a trigger congregation here so when someone visit this page through our google ad journey then we can track as a conversion so let me show you how to do this actually click on the good tag congregations and page view and hit on the some page views it should be page url or maybe you can use page path i would use page path and it contained that's fine no problem and i will copy this one from this and paste it here that's it hit save and hit one more time hit save so this is correctly placed and i will save it done and to make sure that i just set up this one test google ads submit this one so let me show you if you want to test this whether you are doing the correct thing or not just hit on the preview button here and just copy and paste the landing page url and paste here and hit connect this one more window will open and this is the conversion action i just set up using google tag manager so you can see this is not fired yet so let me submit this one for the video purpose next dress you can do this one and phone number and email i probably say and i can use this number and this should be test let's try it and it redirect to this thank you page and you can see this is fired this tag is fired that means right now we are tracking properly all types of survey submissions from our landing page you know it will work if we run google ads as well it's properly done next thing is phone call conversions so to set up the phone call conversions you can just hit on here and here here you can see the three options so i will go through this two first and if you want to know about more the phone calls i created one more video how to set up only phone call conversions you know i go through all of these three part i will link this video you know on my video description so that you can check this video to learn everything regarding the phone call conversions so for this video i will just cover these two things one is phone call extension and one is for calls from websites just let me do this first calls from phone call phone number on your website and hit continue as for conversion name i will just put test call conversion so you can you can use anything whatever you want value i don't use value and count for phone call i always use one uh, and for service submission and from submissions i mean lead from submissions i use every so this is the you know main difference so you know you just need to track one call from your phone number so that's it and on destination number just double check your client's country is united states and if i show you for this client i am not using any types of tracking numbers so what i will do actually i will pass the same number on destination number and also display number as well so for call length that means you know when someone calls on your number and how long they stay on the phone call number and or maybe over the call you want to track these conversions so for example if someone calls on these numbers and they last for maybe 30 seconds and then you can track this as a conversion so it totally depends on you so i would probably use 10 seconds for this client and hit create and continue so on this last step you can see uh these three options whether you can set up this tag yourself or either you can email the tag or whether you can use tag manager so this part i will use the google tag managers i will copy the conversion name because i want to use the same conversion name on google tag managers to track everything in google tag managers properly so that i don't mess up and uh, tag congregation google ad you can see this is part google ad conversions and on here display number so this should be the display number conversion id i will copy this conversion id and conversion level this is the conversion level and triggering part i will add all pages if you want to track is from specific pages you can do specific pages you know and uh, just click on here and plus button and you can set up a new trigger 
for that particular page so again i created a separate video how to track all types of phone calls i just dedicated this video only for phone call conversion so if you want to learn more about the phone call i will link my previous video on my description so that you can check it out for this one i just hit save again to test out this conversion new text call conversion is working or not just hit on the preview button or before that just i just need to save this conversion on the google ad this is the new conversion i set up and this is the new conversion i set up right and this is all tested that means it's working very properly but this is not tested yet so to do this just go to tag managers and hit preview and copy and paste your landing page url and paste on the website url part hit connect yeah this is connected see this test call conversion is tag is fired that means it will work properly to double check this one after the url just add hashtag and google wcc work it enter yeah on the left hand side you can see one window pop up it will automatically replaced with the nine so just so here you can see this phone number will be automatically replaced by google uh, and all number should be nine so if i hit force all number you know replaced by google with nine that means this conversion track is working properly so don't worry i will remove this one it's working fine and last thing if you want to track conversion from your call only ads or maybe call extensions you just need to do one more thing so hit on the conversion actions one more time and you can see phone calls hit on the phone calls and click on here calls from ads using call extension and call only ads so i would probably say hit continue and just put a name test call extension i will not use any value of course one and call length should be 10 seconds for this client it depends on you actually you know you can use 30 or you can use one minute or more than maybe one minute so it totally depends on you for every client i just use 10 so that's why i'm just using 10 10 seconds for this client as well and hit continue and save oh it's already call extensions in yes and done you don't need to do anything for these conversion actions on tag manager so this is the conversion action i just set up right now so what you need to do go to your google ad dashboards and here you can see assets under asset you can find call that means it's a call extensions and click on the plus button so here is the thing you can use these call extensions on campaign level or on account level or maybe on ad group level but i mostly prefer to use on the campaign level i see just campaign and you can see create one let the country i will copy the phone number from the landing page let me copy this one paste it here and under the conversion actions you can see there are lots of conversion actions so this is the last one i set up only for all extensions see test call extension gs hit on this and hit save that means you are tracking all of these things you know correctly for google ads so what i did actually i created three conversion actions on google ad dashboard so to so let me recap all of these things at a time this is test call conversion that means when someone lands on your page from google ad and all using this number and you stay on the line for more than 10 seconds and google ad will track as the conversions under this conversion actions and what it does test call extension google ads that means you know from the call extensions when someone calls and lasts for 10 seconds it will count as a conversion under this one test call extension gs and here is one more test google ads submit that means when someone's landing page and will fill out this survey and redirect to the thank you page automatically then it will count as a conversions and these conversions will count under this test google has submit conversions actions so you are good to go right now and you can run your google ads you know by setting this conversion action properly and last thing i also created one more video about the phone call conversion so if you want to learn more about the phone call conversion so please check out my video from the description so you can learn everything about the phone call conversions even though it's a phone call link click you know so that's all from my end if you like this video just hit a like button and if you want me to do this conversion action setup properly or maybe you know i can hop on a call with you and go through all of these things just let me know i am happy to do it for you so it's nothing big deal for me because i am doing these things you know on daily basis and i did this for lots of my clients so just feel free to comment on this video if you need any help you know regarding the google ads or maybe any conversion stuff so feel free to comment on this video or maybe you can contact with me directly so thanks have a great day thanks for watching this video see you on the next video bye bye Thank <laughs> you.